let's jump into the action. Could be pretty fast-paced, as always, on DM. We have Rubenstock playing in the teal trunks. He will play Malians, and that looks like a Slav teammate to me, because he's not building any houses. He will have the coat as the pocket, playing Lithuanians. Goes for the stable there as well, and then it has to be the last with the Slavs. Did struggle quite a bit early on in the other games. Now we'll have Hans as a favorite opponent. Relatively short distance here, so could be problematic. We have Cortical as the center player with Byzantines. Okay, so that could be Cataphracts plus Camels. Market play by Cortical potentially. Yeah, will be faster than the code for sure. Relic count. Oh, I see four relics at the bottom. One over here. Will be quite tough for the code to get to four in this one, I would say. Paladins is playing Berbers, goes for the Camel defense. Will be really interesting. I want to see the right-hand side again. I think if they learned anything is that Veles can struggle against early rushes. And already some villager losses here, down to only five. And Hunts obviously don't struggle that much. They don't need to build houses. Production should be pretty fast. Nice scoreboard, and we will have this one, this one, then this one, and this one. 2-2. Two, two. Okay, now more raids in the back here. Market now by favorite. This doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. Cortico already got the market. Going for the market as the Hunts player after that one isn't the greatest choice. Trying to sell some wood, food or stone there to increase your gold count. We will see a 1v1 there at Paladins versus Rubenstock space. While we see the massive raids against the less. He's sitting at 6 villagers. Favorite did go down to 4. I even heard more going down. Is staying on these 4 camel numbers. Not that crazy. Ooh, what are we doing against Cataphracts though? Most likely, Paladins of the Code will do fine against that one. Favorites didn't get the opening that he wanted. Only sitting at pop 43 at the moment. So, advantage there. But as I said earlier, Slavs potentially the best civilization in those team games. 4,000 rest sold by Mr. Cortical there early on. And probably this the stat that we want to go with. Poof. 70 military now, but we also see 70 for the last. Already good shot to start this one off. Gets a second one there. Not as good in comparison. Scorpion's now around and yeah, just press the harbor key and you should be pretty fine for quite some time. Camel v Camel masses here. Should be better for... I don't even know whom. Paladins built them cheaper. We have stronger ones for Rubenstock. I think relatively even then. I think once we get Camel Archers out, it feels like... It should be better for Paladins, though. But most important area will be the right-hand side. And Hunts, they could struggle against Slavs. Once they get a Death Ball in, Mass Harbor here, Mass Siege. Hunts really, really, really will struggle against that. Where on Cataphracts then need to deal with them. But Paladins might be countering those again. So it will be really tricky as over around now. Cataphracts are coming over. A Hunt's good in team games? Well, short distance, they should be really, really good, right? You don't need to build houses, but you don't have treadmill crane. Let's take a look here. And those are good shots by the less again. Oh god, is he getting a lot of, lot of kills in? Hallelujah, is he shrekking in? And as you can see, 11k army value or 11k killed already. Yeah, he lost quite some as well. But still, solid, solid control. 350 population against 280. More access in the center. Where are the Camel Archer? Not the craziest numbers for now. Now the nice block there with the Camel's Trap will get saved. Good positioning here by Paladins for sure. And that castle should not go up. As O around will be tricky. And oh, oh, Cortical will obviously suffer against that. Remember though that these Cataphracts will do fine against those Camels. Not the craziest thing. Yeah, I don't think champ cards are a real good unit in DM. So I think those won't be an option. If anything, then it is OSO together with those for Rimba Camels. Camel Archers behind this one. Massive fight here again. It feels like 100 army for both of them. But better numbers there at the very moment. 
for Paladin simply because Rubenstock is sending some stuff around and that was a nice nice clear up traps behind this one can even find the kills against the retreating army feels like it because traps are grouped in there as well so they were a bit slower lovely play by Paladins and we see more push over at the other side though how are they dealing with Slavs though Lithuanian pocket I only see one relic for the code at this very moment hearing some more Monks being at it though. Oof. I thought that could, could have been a villager, but not really. Cataphract suffering a lot against paladins. Does he want to mix in some camels? Doesn't excite me too much. Cataphracts will be great against the Slav army, but honestly, with that amount of scorpions, you need like 60 cataphracts to contest that one. He is at 55 though. Really late with all the gold production. And Camel Archer still around. 450 population for the Finns. Boomstock just lacking us all here. Has two. Okay, could be good. Could be good. Maybe the moment Paladins moves forward, just unleash them and get some good shots in. I'll try to take a good eye on that one. Ay, 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 favorite and quite some problem here. Obviously, good advantage that he gives his whole team. Stables are working faster, so Roomstock did get some better numbers out. No, not Roomstock. <laughs> Paladins and Cortical got some better numbers out in the start. Okay, so now is he just focusing down on the traps or is he trying to go deep into the camel archers? Just two trap kills is what he's settling for. Maybe even four trap kills. Okay, okay. And keep some of those SO alive, if not all of them. Great move by Rubenstock. Hello. Completely stopped the push. Is rebuilding that castle. Sick, sick play to buy himself more time. Paladins now coming over. Code. Just can now choose. Okay, where do I want to go? Where do I want to help? Light is even mixed in now as well. Only one single relic. Unfortunate there for the code. Relic count. One for code. Cortical did get two. So he did contest those. Still one in the back there. So one at the moment picked up somewhere that I don't see. <laughs> Camel Arch is such a lovely unit. You can just dictate fights so nicely. And I think one problem of Berber Byzantine Hunts is that you don't have a single Siege Onager civilization. How are you dealing with Siege Onagers yourself? That'll be really tricky. Think it is a mistake. How fair into a DM game does a low score stop being an indicator you're doing well? Uh, one second. Score is really extremely misleading in DM. A bombard cannons not the counter to SO. Yeah, Hans don't get bombard cannons. Uh, bombard, yeah. So he still have a problem. And bombard cannons. It's like in RM, it's different, right? In DM, it's faster. So, oh god, nice full surround here. Let's take a look at this engagement. Paladins can maybe make something happen. Cataphracts are now closing down the distance. This could be the full wraparound. All the Hubbardies are dying. Cataphracts are doing great against all those scorpions. I thought this was an unbeatable army, but oh boy, did premium tactics just prove me wrong. Holy guacamole. What a great synergy and what a patience there by favorite getting the full wrap around and the nice nice clear up My thought process on the bombard cannon Bombard cannons are worse in DM because it's so much faster and bombard cannon needs babysitting bombard cannon needs some micro which you don't usually find the time to do Ooh, That was a crazy surround what makes score so misleading in DM to RM? Well, just think about one player is pop 10. 
and has zero stables. The other player is pop 10 and has 10 stables. If those 10 stables have full production, he has the way lower population. And obviously you are killing so much and killing doesn't necessarily mean that you are actually advancing in some spots. Like, ooh, look at those colors all around. Lovely stuff. So yeah, production simply takes away from your score. Sling is heavily misleading in team games as well. Those cataphract numbers are just lovely all of a sudden. Yeah, having the lower score at the start of the M is nice. Because that means you get the resources on the map. Like in the first four minutes. Cataphract again doing a great job. CA now around, probably willing to deal with those lighters. Should be doing okay, -ish, I believe. Yeah, Cataphract's just such a lovely unit. Slav struggling against these. 29 military only for the less at the very moment. Is there another difference between DM and RM and late imp besides faster game speed and no walled bomber towers? Well, your base setup is obviously completely different, right? Your hill control is different, you have way more castles. Traders being set up. So, like, a lot of people are saying, like, oh, like, DM after 20 minutes is like RM late game. And, yeah, they, they, they probably never played it. To the level that these players did. It feels very different. On how stuff is set up. And how careful you need to be with your units as well. Right? In RM. Like every single engagement is. So much valued. You're microing so much more. But in DM. It's a lot of patrolling. And trying to preserve some clicks. Do something important somewhere else as well. I think that was a castle kill though, right? And again, lots of SO coming around Cataphract, closing down the distance at the right hand side. That looks like a good fight for the code at the left hand side against all those paladins. I think this is still with how many paladins? Only still one relic extra. And all of a sudden, the code is taking this one quite nicely. Well, we see paladins moving forward now because there was some yellow help coming over. Oh boy. Uh, it feels like the pockets. With mass lighters and mass cataphracts are simply dictating the games here. How do you protect something by Harbardier? Do you just right click them near the siege and patrol them to enemy unit thereafter? Yeah, could make a lot of sense. Defensive stance obviously helps out as well. Can we talk about build orders in DM if it exists? It heavily exists. Um, the talking about those could fill like multiple hours so. Probably you come up with a more specific question and then I can try to answer that one. Okay, another aggressive castle by Villes. Not a lot of traps by him at the moment. 57 military goes into that stone. Another aggressive castle here. Quite interesting. And how do we... It, Dress this one. Comes around and... Ooh, I'm not sure who has the better engagement there. Roomstock obviously with the hill, but should be outnumbered. I think this should be a better fight for Paladins. At least he should survive with more. But lots of the army of Cortical is getting traded off. Paladins now are coming from the right hand side. Lots of traps here. Castles will fall. Overall castle count is 15 this time against 17, so slight advantage for premium tactics. More advancement here. Why is the code not pushing through the middle? Well, killing siege workshops and barracks is not really a good thing. And you don't have siege ramps if you are Lithuanians. So not a great civilization to push with. Also him alone, not the greatest pusher, right? Could just face either camels or harbodies against you. 
What's a good place to order food from in Hamburg? Depends on where you live, right? Hamburg is so big that there are different areas and not everyone is delivering everywhere. So, we need to be more specific there. I still playing DM frequently, Neil, or focusing on Aram at the moment? Well, just two days ago, I played the semifinals of this tournament. So, I'm focusing on RM, but also playing DM. Oh, Camel Archer's jumping in here. Eject them at the left-hand side. No, he gets trapped. Just jump, my man. Jump. Okay, not happening. Oh, now focusing down the SO. Can they get some shots in before they die? Oh, look at that. Beautiful focus fire there by Paladins. Killing all the SO. Camel Archer's still active. And what a big, big push by the Code and Roomstock. Lovely play. Meanwhile, upgrade on the other side. Obviously, now the re-push at that angle. Traps are moving forward as... Oh, non-existent, obviously. After all the snipes and ramps are pushing quite nicely. Castle count here, probably not too great. Only five castles for Paladins. That's not what you want to have if you're playing late game DM with Berbers. What is the bigger scene, DM or RM? I would say it is 97% RM, 3% DM. Yeah, something in that ballpark. Maybe 95% to 5%. But RM is like way, 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 way bigger. Feels like one team pushes on the one side, the other one pushes the other side. Well, that's how it works, right? And now he's coming over there, so maybe the push back at that angle. And no, it feels like both sides are kind of stabilizing. Yeah, but I'm really, really happy to be watching this game again here and... What a great series it, w it, it is yeah. for us. Why you live in Hamburg, Nilly? I did found a professional poker flat sharing apartment. And one of the guys I did found it with was still living in Hamburg. And Hamburg has the probably the best casino at that time in Germany. Oh, oh, where's our shots? Oh, got a solid 15 camel archers there. Hallelujah, that was a good one. 570 population against only 503. Army value 25k to 16k. Ay, 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 ay. Seems like a deep, deep push in. Lots of more army here. How do you rate Dragonstar in DM? Uh, like number 15 in the world, maybe? Poof. Why are you a German? Not by choice. Oh, another hold by Paladins. Now, oh, Boya is being mixed in. That is an interesting one. Okay, wants to face those Paladins a bit better head to head. Maybe we get an update on the trade card count. All set up here. So, 150 against, well, 160 there. So all good in the hood. I can continue with those stats for you. Paladins, the guy with the most kills on either side. Have you ever been to Dutch casinos? Nope. screen away from the trade now is Mr. Veles. Score really close, right? 18k the lowest, 21k the highest. Hans really struggling to make anything happen now. So this Arabia. Winter's War, Winter's Arabia. Could get any more relics? I would be really, really surprised. No. They were taken away from him at the... Probably under five minute mark. Could Teuton Paladins win against Boyars? Uh, I think so. I think Boyars are still better. 
Camel Archer's now coming over. Not really sure about that one. I think Bombard Cannons could be nice. Camel Archer's now. Okay, this is another 3v2 fight. We see Roomstock probably pushing at the other side then. But let's take a look at this engagement first. SO trying to connect. Good first volley. You're in the center. Can they get a second one off? Not so far. Paladins is trying to reposition. Didn't really snipe those down. And those Camel Archers didn't really help as much as they wanted. Oh god, went in too far in my opinion, eating another round of shots and now need to go back. The 3v2 won even by the less and the code. That is something that should have never ever happened. And Roomstock, he will just have a field day indeed and he is pushing in. Castle being dropped forward. TC rush here by Ruben Stock. Are you kidding me? Malians with the extra arrows that they are automatically firing. He is the madman indeed, Roomstock. He can troll RM, he can troll DM. Malians play to perfection. More castles to the front. Just needs more traps. Pop um, 550 against 530. So that's super open or super close. Army value better for premium tactics here. Can they maybe clear it up in the second try? I don't see it happening yet. 44 camera archers in the field, 45 cataphracts. Paladin numbers don't excite me too much. But look at what the, the coach has. 16 camels, 4 rams, 3 spearmen, 3 pikemen. What is this? That's not an army, my man. Deathmatch douche indeed. He is going for it. But trades is now so close. Stables should be added by the code. Don't like that too much. Builds another castle there. Lighters are continuing to push in. What a crazy game again. Castle might already go down. Just goes for the unnecessarily aggressive push to not allow Paladins to go over because they know, okay, if Paladins can't go over, it looks good that the Les and the Code are probably making a successful push into the trade. Half is green away now. Not sure how it looks when it comes to stone. And the Les now soon will have 90k kills as well. 90k unit kills. I like unit value kills. <sighs> no idea how paladins can help th hold this. Or oh, paladins of favorite. Purple player, the other side. Oh no, red player here will hold. 17 castles to 20 castles. Castle will fall there for cortical. Obviously, lots and lots of HP on that one. Mr. Rarest, I hope you're enjoying the show. Army value identical at the moment. 28k, 24k. Numbers 200 against 230 there. They probably wait for the less in the code to go a bit too close to the hill to then make the engagement happen. Soon everyone will be pop limit. Now they're going for it. They're going for it. This is like Braveheart. Hold, hold, hold. Now they're coming for it. But that is enough green at the front. I believe the SO not even attacked at all yet. Another ground attack there at the right side. Harbody is protecting the SO. And I think this is not enough army. I think this is enough of the code to hold this one off. And the trade, as we mentioned, so close. And army value did plummet so heavily for premium tactics. Push over here, not really happening. The TC is just heavily sho happily shooting away. And this one could be the final blow. SO moving forward. We don't have a lot of stuff that is good at killing trade, though. Maybe the SO killing those trees, sitting on that hill, might be a good option. And... Oh god, how do you even combat this mass lightest mass cataphract? I don't know mass lighted mass boyas. I don't think that cataphract is an option. They couldn't crack the code. G to the G. Favorite is typing it 40 minutes of pure enjoyment. Palin's cortical and favorites have to call this one the last code and room stock are taking the lead 3-2 for them. Great, great game. The max benched is giving them a win here. But the max obviously played incredibly well on the Lombardia game earlier on. Whew. I think this is the game that will make it onto YouTube. At least I loved that one a lot. The less with a very methodical push. Look at all those castles. And then... Lithuanians not played to perfection simply because it was such a good defense by Cortical and Paladins. Where do we have three relics by Cortical? 
And we still had one in the back. Okay, that's now I'm now I'm confused. Who has the last relic? I don't see it on the Ah last relic is even over here. Yeah. So Cortical did get three in the center and one even nicely positioned for them. Code really struggled with that one. Plus one attack only as the Lithuanian bonus, but it was enough in the long run. Incredible team play by them. So much aggression all around. Let's take a look at the statistics together. Military. Paladins did find the most kills. The code, fewest losses. Well, under 500 there. And the less, kind of an even KD. Obviously did get a lot of buildings raised there, but also lost a lot of harbors. And Hunts really struggle if they can't get the early advantage, if they can't play the mobility cards. I think Hunts without treadmill crane really suffering a lot and obviously favorite lost lots of villagers went down to four and code Finn is taking the three to lead there 